Does buying your home or buying a home or real estate makes you nervous? When you think about buying a house in this market with high prices, high inflation, high interest rate, or any time that you buy, does it make you nervous? Does it bring fear into you? How am I gonna make my payments? Will I be able to make my payments? Will the home prices drop? I totally understand how you feel. When I bought my first house, I had all the same doubts. I was so nervous, I was so fearful, but one of the best things I did when I could not afford it, when I could barely afford to buy a house, is I bought the house. Things went good after I bought my house almost 20 years ago. So let's look at the top five fears in today's market. If you are a first time home buyer, or if you were just a second or third time home buyer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mike Patel with First Team Real Estate right here in Anaheim Hills, California. Before I give you the five top fears in this economy of buying a house, I wanted to let you know that how I felt and how you may be feeling the fears and the nervousness and the stress of buying a house, it is pretty normal. Most buyers that I talk to, and I've been doing this for quite a while, most buyers, in fact, 100% of the buyers, when I've sold their sold a home to them or talked about buying, they always have some fear or some nervousness. So if you feel that way, it's normal. So let's look at the five top fears. Number one is the inflation. How will inflation affect the home purchase? Well, inflation is a very, very big concern to you and everybody else, but you have no control over it. It's almost 8% today and it is a legit concern, but you buy when you are ready. Whether it's inflation now or recession next year or a bubble in 2024 or an earthquake in 2026, who knows, there's always something. So you buy when you're ready. Inflation is a concern, but it is what it is. The second fear that most buyers have today is, is there a recession coming? That's a great question. You know, experts are saying that we are going into a recession at least the second half of 2023. If you ask me, I already feel that psychologically, a lot of the buyers and sellers, including myself, are in a recession. So yes, we are in a recession. But here's the good news. Historically, in the last six major recessions, four of the last six recession, home prices went up. In 1990s, in a recession, the home prices went up by 2%. And of course, in the 2008, the major recession and housing bubble that we had, home prices went down 20%. But overall, four times in a recession, house, housing prices went up. But if you're buying for long term, it should be okay. And here is the biggest fear, number three. The question that we get, and a lot of the real estate people like myself are getting is, is there a housing bubble in 2022 or 2023? Well, nobody can predict the future, especially when it comes to real estate, and especially when times are volatile, right? like right now. High inflation, high home prices, high interest rate, uh, stock market is going down. So nobody can tell if there's a housing bubble, but according to the numbers, my personal opinion is, and based on experts and charts that I've seen, most experts are saying is there is no housing bubble. Wow, that's good news. So why is there no housing bubble? Well, the number one reason is there's a shortage of inventory, so homes are gonna sell. There's a lot of equity in the homes in the last four, five, six years. Home prices have gone up so much, so there's a lot of equity. And number three, that there may not be a housing bubble that adds to non-bubble is that in the last 10 years, lenders were very tight in lending loans or giving loans. So the homeowners are pretty strong and pretty stable. So there's a good chance there is no bubble. But at the end of the day, you cannot control it. The fourth fear is what happens if the interest rates keep rising? Well, that's a good concern. That's why you cannot time the market. You buy when you are ready. Of course, if you bought your home two years ago, interest rates were almost 2%, 2.5%. A few months ago, they were 5%. As of a few weeks ago, they're 6%. So you may ask the question, well, should I buy now or the rates will go up? Well, here's the question. What happens when the rates go up to 8% if they do? So you never know when interest rates are gonna go up and how high they're gonna go up. You buy when you are ready. There's always something. If the home prices go down, rates go up. If the rates go down, home prices go up. So if you can afford your mortgage payments and if you qualify and your debt ratio works out, 
buy a house, you have tax advantages, you have lots of other advantages which I will not talk about right now. But here's another thing, did you know that in the 80s, I was not in real estate back then, but in the 80s, interest rates were 12% and I hear they were as high as 18%. So the question is, should you buy at 6% or 5% or should you buy at 10% or 18%? Who knows where they are headed? Buy when you are ready. And fear number five, will the housing prices go down? What if I buy a house and the house prices go down? Well, that's also a very valid concern. What if they do go down? I bought my house back in the 90s, late 90s, and I bought it for 250. Sorry, yeah, that was pretty cheap. But my house went up to $400,000 seven, eight years after I bought it. Then it went down to 300 and I was scared. Oh my God, what happened? But you know what, today it's tripled the value. So if you're buying long term, doesn't matter if the home prices go down, they will come up. And as long as you have a fixed pay mortgage payment, your payments are fixed. So keep making those payments. It's better than renting. Take advantage of the tax write-off. Take advantage of your neighborhood. Enjoy the house. You can never time the housing market. Just like stock market, you cannot time it. So you buy when you're ready. And lastly, overcome the fears and the nervousness. Things happen when you overcome your fears. If you have any questions, please direct message me, please comment me below. I'm here to help and give you resources. At the end of this uh, videos, I have two links to two videos. One is the housing shift and the myths about buying real estate. So please watch that at the end of this video. I would really appreciate it. At the same time, I wanted to thank you for watching my video and visiting my channel. If you're coming here for the first time, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I come up with videos at least once a week on Thursdays, additional videos during the week. So I would appreciate if you can subscribe.